I am really excited about this particular tutorial because I'm going to do something new. For the very first time, I'm going to attempt to screen record on my cell phone to show you how to use the Canva app. In this example, we're going to walk through how to create custom IG story images. So we'll create the images in the app and then we'll upload them to Instagram. If this is something that you're interested in, make sure that you stick with me. And if you like the format, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will create more videos like this in the future. If you have not signed up for my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. So first things first, you need to go ahead and download the Canva application. And the very first time that you open it up, you will see this screen where you can log in or you can sign up. Now I personally connect with my Gmail account, but you can use Facebook or you can create your own account. And when you log in, it's going to ask you, what would you like to design today? Now I was shocked the very first time that I logged in because there are a lot of templates available on the app that you would typically associate with a desktop program, like a poster or an invitation or presentations. So you just need to decide for yourself how big of a screen you need to create this content because perhaps you're using your iPad and so it's okay for you to create a resume on your iPad. But on your cell phone, I would stick to the social media posts like the IG story template. So here is just one example and all you need to do is to click on the elements on the template and drag in your photos from your camera roll. So all you need to do is click on the squares, click on your image and it will automatically replace the placeholder with an image from your cell phone. Now this particular template has three images in a little film strip and it also has an image in the background. And so this particular photo, I liked that you could see the Christmas tree. So I pinched it and I dragged it to zoom in to turn that into the background of my IG story. Now when I was done, I hit done in the top left corner and then I saw a few more options appear. Now I am going to use that down arrow in the top right to prepare the design and save it to my camera roll. Now you can share this with people if you want to, but at the end of the day, once you create it, it may pop up to ask you if you like using Canva, but then it will save it to the photo section of your phone. So that's a way that you can use your own photos to create an IG story. You can duplicate it if you want to do multiple photos to upload at the same time. What I also found is they have some of those really fun story graphics that you can put. Um, those graphics where you ask questions or you do little quizzes. So make sure you scroll through some of the designs they already have created. There's some pretty complicated ones up there. But I'm gonna select the fashion feels in GIFs or GIFs. Honestly, I really don't know how to say it, but whatever, I call them GIFs. So <laughs> this particular template, I'm going to save it on my phone. And when I upload it to IG, I am going to throw in some GIFs on top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Instagram, and then I'm going to click on the camera icon in the top left corner. So, yep, there I am. <laughs> So now that I have opened up IG, I'm going to go to my camera roll and I'm going to go ahead and select the fashion feels in GIFs. So when I click on that in my camera roll, it's going to pull up that image and it is automatically sized for um, the IG story which is great, so you don't have to worry about pinching and resizing. Now you can search for whatever type of template you need. I'm gonna type in excited, and I'm going to put that GIF where it seems appropriate. So for this one, I said, uh, my favorite store goes on sale, and so I am super excited. 
Um, actually underexcited, they had a whole lot of gifts that I liked. So you can pinch and drag them to make them bigger. And honestly, that could be the answer to all of these, but I thought that one would work really well if a pair of pants fit me perfectly. And then I decided to search for one more gift to show you how to do it. I'm gonna change what I'm searching for and type in thankful. And when I do that, I'll just select a gift there and drag it to say, if a friend gives me a lipstick, that is how I would feel. So that is just kind of showing you how you can upload a template from Canva. You don't even have to type and change anything and you can immediately have some free content that your followers can engage with within your Instagram profile, which I think is amazing. Now you could also click on these templates within Canva and you could change it to say whatever you'd like. Just like the desktop application, you can click on the colors and you can change them to fit your brand. Here is the other one that we designed. I'm gonna throw in a GIF just for the holiday season, and I'm gonna type in Merry Christmas. And so once I see one that I like, then I'm going to just drop it in on top of my image and pinch it and drag it to where I want it. Now sometimes with GIFs, if you do overlay them on photos, you may cover up some faces, so I'm just gonna scooch this up just a bit. And there you have it. So pretty simple stuff, guys. I cannot believe that actually worked. Um, this is actually the first time through that I've recorded it and I don't think it's gonna get any better. So we're just gonna stick with that. So hopefully you liked this, you enjoyed it. It was something different for, for you. And it's encouraging you to hop into Canva on your cell phone and give that a try. So now friends, what I want you to do is grab a pen and paper and get ready for your secret word. The secret word is app. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, if you did like it and there are other apps that you would like for me to walk through, please let me know in the comments. This video is a part of the Canva Create-a-thon where I am challenging myself to create 25 Canva tutorials in the month of December. And if you are the YouTube subscriber who found all 25 words and you are the first person to let me know, you will win a Squarespace website valued at $2,000. So what an amazing way to start 2020 strong than a brand new Squarespace website. So if you liked my video, be sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Whether it's on a computer or your cell phone, that is what I'm passionate about and I hope you like to learn from me. Until next time, ta-ta for now.